the UN Decade for Women was declared in 1975. At the first UN World Conference on Women in Mexico City, equal rights, development and peace were on the agenda. For the first time, action plans were drawn up to eliminate discrimination against women. Later, at World Conferences on Women in Copenhagen and Nairobi, these action plans were reviewed, revised and amended. The biggest World Conference on Women was held 20 years ago. From 189 countries, 47,000 people took part. That was in 1995 in Beijing. The conference ended with the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, calling for comprehensive equal rights for women, women's equal participation in economic, social, cultural and political decision-making. It also identified 12 main issues causing discrimination against women. Gender mainstreaming became part of international women's policy-making. Beijing was hailed as a victory for the women's movement. 189 states ratified the declaration, but the goals are far from being achieved. For example, health. The concept of women's reproductive health means women make their own decisions about their sexuality and reproductive rights. Yet the right to abortion is not established as a human right. Human rights. Women's human rights should be strengthened and women's rights should be recognized as human rights. Yet the declaration wasn't signed by Iran, Sudan or Somalia and wasn't ratified by the United States. Violence and armed conflicts. Sexual violence in conflict is defined as a crime against humanity and should be prosecuted before the International Criminal Court. The more militaristic the society, the greater the violence and dominance of masculine values and the higher the rate of domestic violence. Sexual violence is also a part of war strategy. Economics and positions of power. There are now 19 female heads of state, more than ever before in world history. Many countries have quotas for regional and national parliaments. Yet the quotas are set at only 20 to 30% in most countries. Perceptions of traditional family and gender roles continue to hamper women's political involvement. As of today, the vast majority of states have failed to comply with the obligations set out in Beijing. 20 years after Beijing, there's still much to do. Women's rights are human rights. It's time to make women's rights a reality. Now.